Oh, hey there. I didn't see you. Glad you're able to join- No, this is stupid. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I did that. Okay, let's move on. You read the description. You read the title. You seen the thumbnails. We're gonna be making this in Canva. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Dr. Heels. I make videos just like this nearly every week to teach you guys how to create a bomb brand on a budget. We mainly use all free tools to get you guys absolutely killer stuff. All right guys, so we're continuing today our Canvas series. Um, and rather than just showing you how to do alerts, which if you still want that video, if you just want a regular standard pop-up alert, new subscriber, yada yada, if you still want that video, leave me a comment down below and let me know and I'll make a video on how to do those in Canva. But today I'm gonna go one step further. No, 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 not just any alert. We're actually gonna make a HUD bar that has all of our information in it and then we're gonna have our alerts whoosh, animate into that bar and we're literally gonna do everything in Canva. I can't tell you how excited I am. I've recorded this video like three times and every time I've overcomplicated it, this is the simplest way to do it and it comes out looking absolutely fire. Let's go. All right guys, really sorry for the long intro. I really try hard not to do this. I hate long intros and tutorial videos but I want you to know how excited I am about this video. Also, I want you to know that I stream over on Twitch every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So you should come hang out with me if you have any questions about this video, how to do some sort of design, or, or just want to hang out. You know, come, come hang out with me, all right? You just you come on over and we'll, we'll hang out together. It'll be, fan, it'll be fantastic. Let's, let's, just, let's just make cool stuff. Let's do what you came here for. Okay, so first things first, you can make this literally in any way that you want it, any size, it depends. You know all on what you want you can have a a hud bar that goes over in the bottom uh of your screen um you know that sits down here kind of in, in the middle bottom and your camera's over here and it's a good thick one sort of like courage is if you've seen courage um you can do that or you can do one that's like um the one on my stream is just directly above my camera and it's just a little thin bar up there and it has it has the alpha gaming rotating widget in it which is what i'm going to make today um but literally this all just depends on what you want to do so first i'm just going to do create a design I'm going to go custom dimensions um, and I want it to be 400 width, which I find 400 is a good width and I'm going to do 50 in height. Now you can do it again. This is going to be a single narrow bar. You can do it 200 in height and give a much thicker bar. That is up to you. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do with this shape is I do not want it uh, to have a white background. So I'm actually going to click this a solid black background, right? I would go to gradient, find a nice gradient square just like this one. Um, now we're going to zoom out just quite a bit here, go to about 100 because I it, it'll only do a square. So I'm going to make it the full size that I need just like that. And now we'll zoom back in. Let's click fit. There we go. And now I can actually bring this up. So it's a lot more subtle. So there is our bar. That is what is going to be um, just over our camera. This is this will have our information in it. So um, so we'll add the alpha gaming thing in here, but it would say, you know, something like username, you know, times two or, or whatever. Right, this is what it would look like. Um, and there you go, there is your bar. There's your bar that's just gonna sit on your screen. That is done. Uh, but now what we need to do is we actually need to make our alert. And this is where it gets really cool, it gets really easy. So um, we have our bar done. All we're gonna do is duplicate that bar. And I'm gonna go and de delete the gradient. I no longer need it. And we'll say we're doing a subscriber alert. So let's give our subscriber alert a color. Um, let's say, our subscriber alerts can come in and it's gonna be this nice blue color here, right? Um, next, we wanna to go to elements. Um, and what do we think when we think subscriber? I think of a, a what, a, tr a crown? A crown, is that what we think of? Let's do with a crown. Yeah, perfect. Now we're gonna find a nice crown. Um, you see this one is free here. Um, and so I'm just gonna add a little bit of angle on it. I'm also gonna make it white. Um, and I'm gonna dump my transparency by clicking over here and I'm gonna set it to about 30. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna make a couple copies of this dude and rotate it back over this way. Maybe shrink it down just a little bit. One more over here. And this way, we'll make this one much smaller. You know, um, anyway, you just want it to look kind of random. Anyway, something like that. And and you just wanna randomize it. Anyway, this will be our, our sub alert, right? This will be what pops up when we get a new subscriber. Now, let me show you where the magic of this is. We're actually gonna bring this, or I apologize. I, I told you guys incorrectly, actually. What we're gonna do, now this was just kind of hold spot. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our elements 
um, and we're just going to go to our shapes right here and we're going to take a square um, and now I'm going to size the square to fit and then I'll drag it across like this now it's the perfect size now we're doing that um, I'm going to go ahead and give it my color that I wanted which was this blue I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to delete this back one now I know it's kind of hard to see what's going on right now because I made the same color and I shouldn't have done that so let's make this um, purple for right now so what I've done now is I've selected this back back page right here and I'm going to delete it now what that just did is that made the background transparent so while this is not here there's nothing there it's actually completely transparent um, so I'm going to drag this back in place I'm going to go to position and I'm going to send it all the way to the back and you can see it's it's actually um, a square with the background transparent and that's what we want so I'm going to go and change my color back to my blue uh, it's this blue right here and now I'm going to animate uh, this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag down I'm going to click the background here and I'm going to click animate now this it is where it gets cool okay so you can choose any of these you want um, and you can kind of watch what it's gonna do all right I'm gonna drag this back up so we can see it what it actually looks like um, and so right there you see I have the stomp effect here's baseline and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna export these as a mp4 file and throw this in the stream elements so whatever animation we choose right is how our alert is gonna come in so there's that neon where it kind of flashes in right our pop, which is the one I like. I'll probably go with the pop, but I like the stomp for a lot of other things. Um, our pan just comes across like this. Rise, they all kind of rise into place. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the one we want. I'm gonna go with pop, and I'm gonna set my time here to 10 seconds. We want the alert to last 10 seconds. Um, so now what's gonna happen, as soon as we have an alert come in, it's going to pop in, it'll show the name, um, and then after 10 seconds, it will pop back out. Um, and that is literally all there is to it. And all you do at this point is just duplicate. Duplicate, um, change your color um, to whatever you want it to be. Maybe you want your follower alert to be um, this like red color. And we want it to have hearts, so we'll go with heart. Um, I'll try to choose a free one. There's a free heart just like that. I'll again make this heart white. Change the opacity to, you know, 30. Um, give it a little rotation, throw it here. You know, delete this one, delete this one, delete this one, delete that one. Um, and again, the colors, the icons, all of this is completely up to you. This is your design. You can make it how you want. Um, now, if you're interested in this particular one I made, you don't want to make your own. No worries. I'll have it available for download in my uh, in my Discord. So just join the Discord down below and you can download it right there. But again, that's all we're going to do. Um, we're going to drag this down so we can select this one. And you can see we could actually have different effects for every alert. We don't just have to use pop for every alert. Now, I'm going to. I'm going to use the same one for every alert. Um, but you can kind of see you could choose for it to do whatever you would like. Um, just like that, now we're going to actually uh, download these. So what you're going to do is go ahead and export this one alone as a uh, PNG. I'm going to go to PNG. Um, and then I'm going to do transparent background. I'm going to make sure I only choose page one. Page one is all I want. Now I'm going to go and download page two and I'll show you how to set that one up. But literally every other one is going to be exactly the same. So we're just going to, again, we're going to select it. We're going to go MP4 video, just like this. We're going to go select pages. We're going to go with page two. Um, then we're going to click download. Now we have these two files. This is all we really need. You need your PNG that is your HUD. Um, and then you're going to need your MP4 file. So go ahead and download all of the alerts that you made. You would download your subscribe, your follow, your rage, your bits, your tip, and, and however you want this to look. Download all those. And then we're going to jump right into stream elements. I already have it up here. Um, and I have, I'm just going to grab one of these unnamed overlays that I've accidentally created and use those. There we go. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign, hit static custom. I'm going to add an image. Um, and so I'm going to set that image and I'm going to have to download it. You can see uh, where I've actually done mine that I actually use on my channels right there. But I'm going to click upload and then I'm just going to drag that image in um, that we had. And actually, I might not need to, to download this with a transparent background. Hold on. There we go. Make sure when you download this, you do not download with a transparent background. That was my mistake. Let me re-download this. All right, now we're going to drag this in 
there we go our black with our gradient there looks super dope um then we're gonna click submit we're gonna place it here and i'm actually not even gonna worry about trying to size it manually i'm gonna go over here to uh position size and style i'm gonna set this 400 by 50 because we know that's what we created it at 400 by 50 and then we're gonna click center widget and there we go it's perfectly sized how we want it next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click uh the little plus sign we're gonna go to alerts and click alert box now um you would set up all of these individually i'm only gonna do the subscriber alert um you just hit the little settings icon right there go to change video um again we're gonna have to upload it and so i'm gonna go right here to my mp4 file i'm just gonna upload it there um, it may take it just a minute Yep, yeah, that is it right there so i'm gonna click submit and now here's what I'm going to do. I, I will work on this just a second. Um, a couple things I know I'm going to want to do is I want the text over the image. I'm going to take um, this off because all I want to be there is just the name. The alert duration is 10 seconds um, and that's fine for right now. So we will work on uh, the rest of these settings in just a moment. First, I'm going to click this X and I'm going to go to position and size because I know the size I want it. I want it 400 by 50 and then I want to center the widget. And so now um, I'm going to zoom in just a hair so we can see a little a little better. And now I'm going to test a, a subscribe. Actually, um, that won't work because I forgot to turn off the variations. Make sure you do this. Go to settings, subscriber alerts, um, go to variation settings and go ahead and turn these off. We don't need different variations. Of course, if you created different variations, um, then set those up here, but we have not. So that is fine. Um, now I'm going to emulate and we'll do a subscribe and right there lines up perfectly um, You notice the name isn't there like we want it and that's just because of the text settings So now we're gonna go over here to text settings um, We're gonna go to advanced and it always gives it a minus 50 and we don't want that um, Now you can kind of see the name where it's lined up right here. Um, and I think we want maybe 10 No, maybe maybe five five looks like it centered it perfectly. Um, I don't want it to do anything Again, if you want it to pulse or, or wave or anything like that, set it for that. Um, I want my text just to be white. Um, and I think that is good. I'm going to go under text over here and I'm going to change it to my font, um, which you set it up for whatever font you want. I'm going to use Poppins. Poppins be popping. Um, and then you adjust your letter spacing, your size, line height, any of this stuff you can adjust right now um, in the setting. Um, but right now we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and test that out. Subscribe alert. There we go. It works. Now, I don't like how the text is just there. So let's uh, let's see if we can make that a little a little bit more nice. Let's make it a little bit more nice. Um, so we're gonna go to our alert box. We can go to our settings. We can go back to our subscriber alert. Um, and again, you would set up all of these individually on your followers, your rage, your bits um, individually. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down to my animation settings, and I'm gonna give it a enter. Uh, I'm going to give it an enter and an exit under text animation. I'm going to give it an enter and an exit. So what I want it to do is, is to slide up, right? Um, let's actually do a zoom in. I think that might fit a little better with what we have going on. So let's go find our zoom in. So let's do a zoom in here um, and a zoom out here. Um, and I'm going to set the duration at, we'll try one second actually. And, and we're just going to watch and see how it looks. It's a little bit slow, honestly. Okay, definitely we need to change that time up a little bit. It went out a little bit, uh, a little bit too late. So alert box settings, back under subscribe, uh, animation. Okay, so we actually want the text um, appearance delay, I think was fine, but the disappearance, we actually want to set that up maybe for a full second sooner. And see if that fixes it. Yeah, that was perfect, that was perfect. Um, and so now I'm just going to go back to my text settings. I'm going to go back to advanced and I had five on it. I think I'm just going to take that off. I'm going to leave it at zero. Yeah, that's perfect. And that's it guys. That's how you very quickly and easily make a HUD bar with alerts built into it in Canva entirely. You don't need Adobe. You don't need DaVinci or Final Cut or Premiere or any of that stuff. We made it just using Canva. And I'm pretty sure we used all the free tools. And if you didn't get the free trial and, and make what you need. Um, again, this one will be available in my Discord. I'll have it linked down below. Um, if you join, you can download it right there for free. But I encourage you to make your own. Make one that fits your brand. Bring in your colors. 
bring in your style, bring in your own icons, go download some icons on, on a uh, flat icon and, and, you know, make some really cool stuff. I want, I'm so excited to see what you'd make. And, and once you get something done, do me a favor, jump in the discord, um, and post it in the, the share your art channel. I would love to see what you guys have come up with in this. Again, guys, I stream over on Twitch every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, we do a lot of design, a lot of cool stuff like this that we get to figure out live on stream together. If you ever want to join in with that, come on over, hang out. You'll be welcomed right into the family. All right, guys, appreciate you. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Their, their plan is that I die. Oh, that is the plan. Oh. You're at a 10. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh. Yep.